All the females that I really, really liked never wanted me. They said I was too ugly, that I wasn't sexy enough. I've had over 66 rejections from females in my life. Over 66 rejections. Then my grandma started losing her health. My grandma started getting sicker and sicker. Diabetes, cancer, high blood pressure, over 10 major surgeries. I dropped out of high school just to take care of my grandmother before she died. I have no high school diploma, no GED. My mother used to verbally abuse me as well, tell me that I was worthless, that she wished she never had me, that I don't mean anything to her, that she don't love me. Then I was wrongfully locked up twice. And when I was in a juvenile, I used to be a bad boy and get locked up a lot. I had to go to jail for four months. And when I went to jail for four months at 16 years old, it changed my life. I stopped being uh, bad. I stopped stealing from stores. And I changed my life. I promised my grandmother after coming out of jail for the four months, juvenile, that I will never go to jail again. And I stayed true to that promise to my grandmother. Until this day, I still, thank you God, have not been sent to jail for a crime I committed. Not that I commit crimes. My uncle Kevin comes to find out he was having sex with my older sister. He got her pregnant. Not my uncle Brian, my uncle Kevin got my older sister pregnant. My other older sister is mentally challenged and decided to stay with my mother and stepfather. I think my stepfather is banging my sister because now my mother is dead. My mother died before we can reconcile. Oh, thank you, lovely Karen. Six, been with you since Angry Black Man days and the prank calls. Beat the glitch and save the world. It happened. Look to the future. Amen, dear. You're so sweet to me, Karen. So I've been through all of that, you know what I'm saying? This is why you are the prophet of light. You've seen darkness lived in the darkness and still chose the path of light. Damn, the family, each other, that's some freaky shit. The, it, we was fucking and sucking each other, bro. And I went through all of that pain in my life, y'all. And then I came on YouTube. I worked hard on YouTube for years, for years, for years. I worked so hard, y'all. And then they took the one thing that made me happy after my grandmother died. My grandmother later died. After she died, the one thing that gave me happiness, the one thing that gave me positivity, they take that too. But then I come on here and I see all you guys' beautiful words to me and you guys make me feel happier than the family I was born into at a young age. And then when I read all of your beautiful comments, I go back and I meditate and I say, it can be true, the nation loves you, you can save the world, and then more bad shit happen. So it, it, it's hard for me, y'all. It's real, real hard for me to stop remembering the past, to stop letting it dictate my feelings. This ain't weed cringe. Have Kayla ever tried to hit you up or anything? Kayla only hit me up one time after I got the fame with the black man loves Pokemon. And with the life I lived, with all the depressing things I told you guys about, I believe I can save the world. Most people that live the life that I lived don't think that they can do anything but rape, murder, kill, but I wanna save the world. I shouldn't be thinking positive like that. I shouldn't believe in myself like that. And yet somehow I do. I believe that I'm gonna be the one to take over comedy from Kevin Hart and Louis C.K. Thank you, Louval. I feel the same as you. What's the point of life? You make me feel like I'm not alone, at least. You're not alone, Eli. I'm right here with you. Sure, my bro. Keep gunning for Kevin's spot. I'm taking out Kevin Hart, and I'm taking out Louis C.K. Thank you, Kurt. I love you. Siggers, you the man. You will, save the, you will save the hero. You are super Siggers. Make your grandma and us proud. See, when you guys say stuff like that, then I think in my mind I can do this. I feel if I do anything differently from the path I am on right now, that I'm going to miss out on something real big that's going to change my life for the better. Something so big that it can save the world. If I change paths, if I stop this fight, if I let the glitch take over and let it destroy my mind and the rest of my life, 
I will never be strong enough or able enough to save this world, which is an impossible dream to have anyways. Tell me what Kayla said to you when she hit you up. Well, we was just talking. She used to come by, but I had a girlfriend at the time. I should have tried to have sex with her, y'all, but I didn't try.